some breaking news to get to here. It does appear that we have a verdict here from the judge in Denver, Colorado, that former President Trump will be on the ballot in that state. The ruling just coming down about one minute ago in Denver, which is actually a bit of a shocker. The judge, Sarah Wallace, uh, was pretty rapidly against the former president. She is a real leftist, but this failed in a couple states already. It seems like Colorado, it went the same way. We have Jason Miller joining us now as we jump into some breaking news here right off the top. Uh, Jason, hey, good to have you on. Thanks for jumping on so quickly with us. We appreciate it. So it, it looks like uh, a, a tragedy averted for the moment in Colorado. This judge, Sarah Wallace, ruling that former President Trump will be on the ballot. She didn't buy into the idea that he led an insurrection, the most ridiculous claim of all. Your thoughts? Yeah, Rob, this is a massive victory for President Trump. This was probably the radical George Soros Democrats' best opportunity to try to keep President Trump off the ballot. They essentially forum shopping, looking for anywhere in the country where they could try to pull this nonsense off. They were defeated in New Hampshire, defeated in Minnesota, defeated in Michigan. Then this came to Denver District Court. And we had a judge who was a bit left of center. And I will admit, when the judge said on the first day that she refused to recuse herself, and said that she'd be able to rule on this in an unbiased manner. I had my doubts, I will admit, but um, I have to give respect to Judge Sarah Wallace for coming down and saying that the interpretation that the radical liberals had regarding the 14th Amendment was never meant to apply to the president in a case like this, and that it, she dismissed it and said President Trump was is ordered to be on the ballot yeah. um, in Colorado, and this is a huge, huge win for President Trump. And, you know, I got to say, Rob, all of these these efforts, and we've seen copycat efforts pop up all around the country. They file yeah. them in Wyoming. They file them in Nevada and Arizona. These should all be thrown out immediately. Yeah. This is nothing else except efforts by the Democrats to disenfranchise voters who support President Trump. Think for a second, Rob. Imagine if Republicans are trying to kick off Joe Biden and say it could be anywhere. It could be yeah. in American Samoa. It could be in one of the states. Anywhere. <laughs> Democrats in the media would be lighting their hair on yeah. fire. This has to stop now. It's un-American, unconstitutional. People should be able to vote who they want to for president.